After a violent weekend with nine shootings, Milwaukee County has now passed the 1993 record for homicides. CBS updates Christine Flores has a breakdown of the numbers and a reaction to this deadly milestone. Christine. The medical examiner's office here tells me that after this weekend, Milwaukee County has 175 homicides. They say that if that trend continues, we'll be on track to log more than 200 homicides this year. And I think it's important to note um, the fact that you're highlighting a county number is that this isn't just isolated to Milwaukee. Reggie Moore, director of the city of Milwaukee's Office of Violence Prevention, says there's a need for community members to be in tune and aware. Because they're closest to every situation that happens. There's either a friend or family member that's aware of a conflict um, that has the likelihood of escalating to a point of violence. It's a call that's echoed by community activist Tracy Dent. It's time for all of us to start, you know, put our differences to the side and let's start working together because that's the only way that we can start reducing the violence in our community. The homicide rate in the city of Milwaukee is also approaching an all-time high. As of October 26, there were 159 homicides. If the trend continues, it could exceed the all-time high of 165 that was set in 1991. This is the worst it's ever been, and, and we're dealing with the pandemic, and now we got to deal with this. Community uh, activists, community leaders, and just general people need to start working with the police. Plain and simple. In a statement, the police department said they're committed to working and engaging with the community to ensure all neighborhoods are safe. That is a lot of pain that's walking around um, that hasn't been un, you know, resolved. And so, again, we have to be a healing informed city um, and, and, and look out and care for each other. Community activists say the work also has to be done at the state level with new rules and regulations. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Christine Flores, CBS 58 News.